Community Arts knew in 2014 that obviously there was going to be a huge historical event happening, um, which was um, the commemoration of the 100 years war, of the First World War. And um, we were looking for a project that would be able to um, be interesting to a very wide age group of young children, teenagers, younger adults and older adults. We also didn't want to focus on the fighting elements of war um, because many members of the Unity Arts Committee were not interested in delving into a project, historically or otherwise, that could be seen as glorifying aspects of war. Um, so we chose to steer away from that as much as we could. Edith Cavill um, was a name that came up through researching the period for being such a wonderful story, um, mainly, at the beginning. Um, she was a very strong and wonderful lady that stood for uh, many things that people by and large have forgotten in today's society. Um, it's very easy for us all now to think of war as something that we see on television or something that we hear of on the radio, but we don't have a direct connection um, with war. And we thought that it was um, valuable, particularly for young people, to understand a side of war that we don't actually connect with, which is from a nursing point of view, from people who look after for the people who are fighting for whatever cause they think is valuable to them. So that's why Edith Cavell was initially chosen. Why did you decide to tell her story through a puppet show? Uh, ooh, basically because puppetry is such a wonderful, wonderful, amazing medium to be able to capture the hearts and the imagination of any audience member. It doesn't matter what age you are, where you come from, what your background is, what language you speak, you will be able to connect with the purest form of theatre that there is actually. I mean if you think of Punch and Judy, how old that is um, and how it affects people. Um, puppetry is something that is evolving um, as time goes on. Um, it is a, a medium that is now quite uh, trendy, as it were, because of War Horse and because of um, the influx of companies kind of doing it as a big budget uh, form of theatre. But the grassroots of puppetry is something to marvel at, actually. It's something that audiences feel rather than think about. So Edith Cavill's story, because it is a feeling story, it's a story that connects with people's feelings rather than their thoughts by and large, because there's lots of thoughts that you have about the story of Edith Cavill that you can't quite work out, but the feeling you have of her and the feeling that she gave to our nation in 1915 um, is very prevalent and very important and connects directly with puppets. So that's why puppetry was chosen. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> it's quite alright. <laughs> I have a question. Um, we have been told how to pronounce her name differently. Mm. Um, we've now learned to call her Edith Cavill. Um, why, why do we call her Edith Cavill sometimes? I think because I think predominantly it's because of the way it's spelt, because it's got a double L. So I think um, in England you automatically go L at the end of, of, of a word that's spelt with a double L. But also because of her kind of references and her connection with French and with Belgium. A lot of people in England presume it's a, a, a la la kind of sound, so it would be Cavell. Um, but actually in the research we found that um, her family wanted her name to rhyme with travel 
and not hell. So that's why it was cavil and not cavern. Okay. And have you found anything out from, I know you're only at the beginnings of your research project, but have you found out anything you didn't know? Or have you had ideas that have been um, sort of countered by research you've done? I think more than anything overall, it's the human spirit. It's the spirit of humans to survive, to care for each other, to cherish, to cherish kind of love that they share with people across um, countries when they're at war. Um, but the time and effort and energy that the nursing um, profession did, but also doctors, uh, people that were carrying wounded men on stretchers for miles. I mean, you know, in, in our heads, in, in modern society, we, we think of trains, we think of planes, we think of ships that can easily just pick people up and take them as ambulances. You know, there's, there's cars and trucks and all of that infrastructure that were just not there then. It was human endeavour. And I think that's what I've learned more than anything, is the importance of human endeavour. And that actually, it's a really good lesson to learn in today's society that we, we should all stick together and come up with an ideology that serves us all. That's kind of what I've learned from looking at the First World War, but particularly looking at Edith Cavill's life and what she stood for. <laughs>